Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be super chill, a quick video. Just wanted to show you guys how I do my press out nails. Every time I post them on Instagram, sometimes here on YouTube, you guys ask me to like film a tutorial on how I do my nails and I got you. Today's the day. I filmed it. I did these $2 press on nails from Shein, which is crazy because wow, they look fantastic. They look amazing. I'm obsessed, especially with this print. It's so fun. And and very wintery appropriate so I figured it'd be fun to just show you guys how I do it and how to get them to look natural I wasn't always a fan of press-on nails I felt like they looked too fake or too press on -y if you didn't size them right and I didn't want them to be popping off all the time so what I've been doing has really helped and you can get up to two weeks probably even more if you want to I just get bored and I have so much fun just exchanging them especially since they're so cheap that you can literally do them all the time if you want to so I have definitely been having so much fun playing around with press on nails so i wanted to show you guys how you can have some fun with them too also i am on this healthy nail journey for 2022 because last year i wanted to master how to do almond nails and master gel x and master poly gel like i wanted to do all of it and because of that like my natural nails really took a toll and they are so weak that they hurt and i just cannot have them without anything on so this year i told myself we're gonna do press on nails keep them short and do strengthening treatment in between sessions so that is what I've been doing I'm hoping and praying that by the end of this year I can have strong nails and I don't have to depend on a press on or poly gel or some kind of nail design or technique to be able to like rock my nails like I want to rock my natural nails you know so in the meantime in between time press on nails are fun you can do solid ones you can do ones that have nail art whatever you're feeling that week that's the joy of them and they're only two dollars two dollars don't buy them on Amazon Amazon charge you maybe eight to ten dollars for the same thing you can get on Shein for only two dollars so I'll link some of my favorite below in case you guys want to check them out and without further ado let's go in and jump into the video all right let's go ahead and get started I'm so excited okay so first things first is this is my old set this is the press on nails that I had on before I could still probably rock them but I wanted to change them into something else so I'm gonna be using my handheld nail drill and this one is my favorite I got it on Amazon I had a more like bulkier one more like professional one but this one honestly does the job and is so much more smaller easier to work with especially for beginners so I just carefully remove the top shiny coat that I have on my nails so that it can soak off much quicker and easier and for the drill just be very careful because that thing is sharp and you don't want to accidentally nip yourself so just be careful I do it very gentle and I take my time I did leave it in real time so you guys can see how careful I am while I'm doing it but I do that to every nail and then the next step is to soak them off. For soaking off my nails, I just use aluminum foil with a cotton pad in the middle. Put some 100% pure acetone, has to be 100% pure. Otherwise, it will take you so much more longer to soak off the nail. So make sure it is 100% pure acetone and this is what it looks like. I let that sit for about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, just depends. And then it just comes off so easily. Sometimes they're stubborn, so I would just go back and re-soak it for maybe another five minutes. So after soaking them off, I just go back with a cotton round and I just clean every nail to make sure that it's nice and prepped for my next set. These are the beautiful press on nails that I'm gonna be doing. I'm so excited, they're so stinking cute. And what I do is I open it out of the packaging, measure every single nail, and you wanna make sure that the press on nail covers the entire nail, cause if not, it looks too press on it. You don't want it to be too big, but you don't want it to be too small either. So just keep that in mind when selecting your nails. After that, I went ahead, washed my hands, and now I'm ready to moisturize my hands because throughout this process, your hands can get really dry. So I just try to hydrate them as much as possible. 
Now I'm going in with the Salen Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. I love this and have been using it for years. I use it to trim around my cuticles and just to push it back so that I can get a little bit more nail to work with. And then this is the cuticle pusher that I use to just scrape off any excess like buildup or anything that stayed there with like the nail glue or anything like that. So after pushing back my cuticles, I go ahead and I trim any excess that I need to just go ahead and just clip away for a more cleaner and uniformed look. And then after doing that to all of my my nails I go ahead and take a, a cotton pad with some alcohol and I go ahead and just clean my nails and then I trim them I didn't show you guys that but I am cutting my nails super duper short every single time I do a new set just because I really want to get rid of my weak nails I'm gonna go ahead and use the Mia's Secret Primer, and this is really good to help the press-on grip your nail, and that way there's no lifting. So I just go ahead and put a thin coat on every single nail, and now I am ready to do my press-on. So this is the nail glue that I use. This is the Nail Bond. You can find it on Amazon. It has amazing reviews, and I wanted to show you guys two techniques that I do for my nails. So the first one is this one that you guys are seeing right now, where you put the nail on the glue as if you were gonna be doing gel -X. That's kind of like the method, how I learned this method, but if you put too much glue, some sometimes it just comes out like you saw my thumb so it just depends just you got to play with it and see what's more comfortable for you and then the second method is more like the traditional one where you put the glue on your actual fingernail and then you stick on the press on this one's easier but sometimes I don't put enough glue so the trick is make sure you put enough glue but not too much where it drips over because then it dries like that and it doesn't look as clean the more you do it the more you'll get familiar with it but I prefer this way because it's a little bit more cleaner and I don't have to go back to fix any mistakes also when you put on the press on nail make sure you hold it down for like 10 to 15 to 20 seconds as long as you can or even 30 seconds just so that the glue can adhere to your nails Now this is the part that changes everything. This is what makes your nails look more natural. You have to shape and file your nails. If you have smaller nail beds, some press on nails might be too big or it might look too wide. So this is where I just go ahead and shape it to my desired look. If I'm doing longer press on nails and I want almond shape, then I'll go ahead and shape it into an almond shape. I just want them to look like my nails, like as close to my nail as possible. I don't want anyone to know that these are press ons. I want them to look natural. So I go in here and just go ahead and fall and shape away to my desired liking. This step also changes the game for me. I always end my press on nail session with a gel top coat, a clear gel top coat. Whether it's gonna be clear or matte, cause I've been having fun doing matte nails as well, you need to put a top coat because that is what's going to, look at the before and after. The top coat just makes it look more vivid and just more professionally done. And it also lasts longer because it preserves the press on. So I cannot do a press on set without this step because it is so important for it to look natural and add that extra shine that you lack. And then I go ahead and cure it. I just love the extra layer of shine that it adds to my nail. It preserves the nail. It lasts longer this way. And you have another just added protected barrier on your nail. And it looks great. I love shiny nails, so I cannot go without this step. And then I go ahead, pop that in. I cure it for 60 seconds. Sometimes I do it per nail, like I'm doing right now. So I'll do either 10 seconds, 30 seconds, just to get that top coat to dry dry in place and then towards the end I will cure it for 60 seconds and I'm done.
And last but not least, the most important step is to hydrate your cuticles. You want to keep your cuticles hydrated at all times as much as you can. And this cuticle oil from Amazon, it is amazing and literally nothing like I've ever seen nor felt before. I went ahead and did my other hand and I'm gonna show you guys the results. I love it. They look so good and natural, which is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanna see you guys do your own press on nails. So make sure you guys tag me on Instagram at Chelly's Curls. If you guys, you know, ventured out and did your own press on nails, if you use any technique that I mentioned here, let me know in the comments down below. Also very important, if you use any nail strengthening treatment please also comment down below because your girl needs some help okay so that is all thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah. bye